Hi guys, I'm starting this vlog, kind of picking up on the same day as the last one. I just came outside to edit. I had my orthodontist appointment this morning and yeah, I'm trying to like glow up a bit. I'm gonna get my eyelashes done tonight and my hair done tomorrow. I just wanna feel better about myself, you know? But currently just enjoying the new outdoor furniture. Okay, it is somehow already 3.30, but I paused to make some of the soup I bought and had some of that like yogurt-y thing. I just got so hungry, I was like shaky. Okay, I'm editing the OnlyFans video. I've gotten some questions about when that will be released and I'm not finished editing it. It's just taking me forever and I thought I'd be further along by now, but I didn't edit it at all for the first like two or three weeks post-surgery. So now I'm kind of making up for lost time. I really want to release it though before the new year. So that's the goal, but I'm not going to release it if it's not ready. Um, anyway, the sun is setting, sadly, at 4, 4 p.m., so I'm gonna go on a walk. Morgan and I just grabbed a bite to eat. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat this. <laughs> I might take it home and I'll, like, dip it into soup. blend it up. Let me try. Same time, and then we can get harder and pizza, because that goes together in the first place. Okay, it actually matches up. God, Good morning guys. Today it's probably like 30 something days post op. Still feeling super stiff right here. It is making me nervous. Like I'm low key scared. I'll just never get that back. But I can smile a little bit. It just looks really weird. But yeah, I'm just having breakfast outside. These are like little cereal bar things that crumble up really, really well. So you can eat them without chewing. I'm gonna get my hair done today and I got my eyelashes done yesterday. Um, I have to shoot this brand deal thing and I just, you know, I wanna like feel better about how I look. Okay, bring my laptop with so I can hopefully get some editing done. Don't mind that stuff I need to sell. Yeah, let's go. Picked up <clears throat> a very overpriced smoothie. It has protein in it so I don't get hungry because I know I'll be there for a while. Never looked better. Yeah, wow. Okay, so <laughs> this is crazy. Um, currently letting my hair process. This is probably the craziest I've ever looked on my channel. Oh yeah, they have this nice outdoor patio. So I've just been editing the OnlyFans documentary as they do my hair, trying to be like kind of productive. Yeah, this is actually really nice. Like. This is one of the few good things from COVID, is being able to get your hair done outside. Okay, let's give this thing a try. I just got it at CVS and now it's kind of warm, so it might be gross. Probably better cold. It tastes very almondy. Okay, got my hair freshly done. Feels good to have it done. I feel almost like I look like myself, but at the same time, not at all. I got this jade roller thing in the mail, so when I get home, gonna try that out. Gonna pick up some soup and get home. Oh my god, it's already like 4 p.m. Okay, Morgan, winter wonderland. Christmas music. Tender greens keeping me alive these days. That is your go-to. It's so good. I, I am. Gonna go on a little walk. I think the sun technically already set, but I feel like I've been sitting all day today. So that's not good for swelling. Beautiful sky with some shoes tied. Just seemed like a vibe for this holiday, holiday spirit. But not everyone is making life changing money. But they're still yeah, putting on a really big misunderstanding of girls or guys getting into only fans. I decided I really want a brownie, a soft brownie with ice cream and nowhere around me really is delivering that. So I'm gonna make it. I haven't used this oven at all yet. It's so high tech, what the heck? Lower oven, what the heck? What? It's like touch screen, but like 
I think if we preheat it now, it'll be ready when we get back, right? Okay, I'm looking for the... Oh, I see it. I found it. Betty Crocker, and it's on sale. Yo. Yes, Betty. That's so cheap. <laughs> to think I was gonna... I was gonna... I tried to buy something here the other day, and they're like, oh, this one's expired. It was like orange juice, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Birthday vanilla. <laughs> okay. Got my brownie. Yeah. It lasts. You guys have to try it. Okay, I'm about to go to sleep, but another pretty good day. Good amount of energy back. Really feeling more like myself, even though I don't really fully look like myself. But I was just take time. Tomorrow I have to record this Instagram video thing, and I'm just like. I wish I looked like myself. I feel like I look so weird and I don't want to put it on Instagram. And yeah, I'm totally fine with putting my entire surgery on YouTube. It's just different, I guess. But here's how it's looking today. But yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Just made some coffee. It's a weirdly cloudy day outside. Yeah, hopefully the sun comes out soon. Okay, so I'm editing this vlog as I drink my coffee and I forgot to talk about one thing with the swelling that I think is kind of weird and a little bit interesting. Good to know if you're gonna get the surgery is like the change to my nose. I feel like my nose is a little bit upturned Maybe you can tell. I feel like it's also a little bit wider. I don't know if it actually is, but to me it seems like it. And the upturnness, I feel like you can just, I feel like my actual like nostrils just look so much bigger than they used to. Like I found an old vlog clip um, of the same angle like before and after I had surgery and my nose does look pretty different, like not in a good way. It looks like I'm just like, a cow or something you know like i don't know it just like it looks even from not a below angle like you can like see up my nose it's very weird i think that might kind of be just swelling i just found this like um t like a study on jaw surgery and it says that this is kind of common that your over your nose it can change it can become wider and deviated and patients should be informed about the possible need for rhinoplasty after surgery i mean no one ever they did not mention that my nose would change literally at all okay guys since i have to show my face to the world today outside of this vlog channel i'm gonna do everything i can to make it less swollen so this is gonna be my swelling routine so okay so we're gonna start this off by taking some arnica tablets so these are supposed to temporarily relieve muscle pain stiffness reduce swelling and pain i mean i've been taking them and i don't notice a notif noticeable difference in the swelling but i do feel like after i take it i don't feel as stiff we're gonna take this is a anti-inflammation serum and my jade roller that i just got yesterday and I'm gonna follow along to a lymphatic drainage massage YouTube tutorial. Okay, so I just did that for like 10 minutes. And lastly, I'm going to use this Arnica Menthol Balm on my face. This stuff, I feel like actually does kind of tighten up the skin a bit, but I will say it makes my eyes water for like 30 minutes. So that's why I'm doing it last. Okay, wow, 
my whole face. Oh my god, I'm crying. Okay, so. As you can see, I've got the balm on, so hopefully it tightens it up. Lastly, I'm gonna go on a walk to get the circulation in my body going, so hopefully everything can drain out of my face. All the menthol stuff. Oh my God, it's like extra strong in the mask. Oh, on my walk. Okay, I just got back. Let's see how it's looking. The same, literally no different. There are a lot of remedies to help swelling, but let's be real, time, time is the only thing. Like Arnica, turmeric, whatever, like that stuff makes like a 2% difference. It really doesn't do like anything in, in my experience. <sighs> you just have to wait. Maybe I can like contour and make my face look less swollen. I don't even think it's possible, but I might try. This is the first time I've really, I feel like fully put on makeup um, since the surgery. And I still, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm just so like, have this weird feeling about my lower jaw moving forward. Like I feel like it kind of did already. I'm just getting extra paranoid because my bite is still like that canine tooth is still hitting and blocking everything and that's not really gonna change until I can get Invisalign. Okay, so currently shooting this Instagram video thing. Tasha is helping me. Hello. Um, and so we like shot some of it and then looked back and I was like, yeah, I look like a Muppet. So we're doing some with a mask on and some without. Cause I'm like, if I have to post it without like whatever, but like, it, I feel like it's just weird if I don't address it. If I'm not like, hey, so I'm like swollen <laughs> instead of all of a sudden like, what? Who, who am I following? I'm not following this girl. <laughs> I'm now editing this together with the mask on because I don't know, I think it just looks so weird for Instagram, like with my face, like, uh. I'm just gonna make two versions of it and then look at it and be like, okay, is it really that bad? It's just weird because it doesn't really look like me. Got some stuff in the mail from Revolve, so let's see what we got just a black sweater love that always love wearing black okay this this sweater has like a little fuzziness to it it's a little bit like cropped it's like a little zip up love a good little oh my god it's super soft okay this i think this is my favorite thing it's just so cozy <sighs> little white turtleneck shirt that's just got the like vertical texture here this top actually like it would look good even without the matching set but i think it looks very fun with the pants sweater dress i feel like this could be like a little longer this is like an extra long black sweater steve jobs look <laughs> this is a black crew neck that i'm not sure if you can tell cinches in so i think that could look really cool this is the one that kind of cinches in a bit. This is a simple white tank top. It's got a nice little texture to it. White tank. I have a shirt like this from Brandy Melville, but this one is way better quality. My other one's like falling apart, so. Okay, I love this. It's a bodysuit, but it's like tan colored and it just is cool how like that one side goes up. Like I think that would look so cool. Yes, I knew this one was gonna be good. Just need my face to get back to normal. This is a brown tube top matching pants set thing. Big fan, big fan of this one. Cute for Palm Springs. Just love a nice sweater. I like this neutral color. It's like a nice little cashew color. Another sweater, little brown one shoulder tank. I just think that is like classy looking. Love this top. I believe this is known as a shacket, a shirt jacket. I'm gonna need help styling this one, but I know there's a way to make this look good. Okay, these are some black kind of leather textured pants. I like the zip in the front. Oh, this is so cozy. It's just like a black 
hoodie with matching pants. Love a nice little set. Very comfy. Ooh, this is, oh, it feels really warm. Cute Thanksgiving vibes. It's very, very warm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be so careful with this, but it's a very nice white jacket and it feels like great quality wow and then we call it a birthday <laughs> <laughs> <I love you. laughs>